Welcome back to Rimworld. So I've done something I don't normally do and I scrapped basically an entire episode. So the whole reason for it was, well there's a couple of reasons. First thing, all I basically did the entire episode for 30 plus minutes was rebuild some of the base. Which as you can see on screen right now wasn't exactly a huge amount. All I did was stick some walls in and move some furniture around. That was legitimately it. We already finished the, the high tech steel research bench research. So all I had to do was build one of those as well. But besides that, literally nothing has changed. So I thought 30 minutes spent doing that was fairly boring. Then the other thing was towards the end of that cancelled episode, a raid turned up and although I've got all of the necessary combat extended patches, it still just doesn't work. Um, there, there were certain issues with loadouts, people throwing lightsabers around, the, the, the deactivated lightsaber was causing some issues with combat as well, because lightsabers don't just, you know, don't just act like regular melee weapons, you have to actually have them turned on before they can do damage. Krupp was getting into combat, his lightsaber was deactivated and he wasn't able to do anything as a result of that, so it was kind of a bit of a clusterfuck. There were certain mods like the Star Wars mod, half the weapons working, half the weapons weren't. Weapons with, half the weapons with ammo were firing, weapons without ammo were firing, and then certain weapons with ammo weren't firing. So it was an entire, it was a mess. So what I've done is I've cancelled it, I've actually straight up removed Combat Extended, as much as I like Combat Extended, it just doesn't work in this scenario. It's intended as a recreation for the base game combat system, which is a little bit lacking. This, it doesn't work. We've got so many different combat systems, we've got the whole werewolf system, we've got the magic system, we've got the force system, we've got the vampire system, we've got the cults system as well. Balancing all of that for base game reward is one thing. Balancing it all for an entirely new combat system that rebalances everything is another thing entirely. So for this playthrough, I'm probably going to scrap it for a while. The downside to that is that we are missing Embrasure, so I've had to install a different Embrasure mod, not that it's a big deal. What I will do is, for those of you who are currently playing, it is compatible with save games, by the way. Um, I would have gone back to my older save game, but, you know, the auto saves have already replaced it by that time, and because I had to close out and change the model, I stayed saved over the top of it, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But, uh, like I said, all we've done is really just build some rooms, so it's not that big a deal anyway. Let's talk through what has actually happened in the time being. Um, well, I put down some limestone walls, and that's basically it. What we did do is I started planning out rooms here. So we've got a dedicated kitchen. Because you might remember, all of this before was just one big room. I expanded out the stockpile, and then I've just stuck some water down. So we've got a dedicated research area, which we were digging out last episode. We have a dining room, dedicated kitchen. This is probably going to be for recreation or something. So we'll just put some arcade cabinets in there for the time being. And then this area is going to be for work as well. We need to light the place up. I also need to put some more heaters in. Because as you can tell right now, we are currently sitting at 3 degrees. It is 3 degrees outdoors as well. Besides that, what was actually happening long time? Oh, you know what? Donitz transformed a couple of times. Unfortunately, all of his transformations went into this Glabro transformation, which in my opinion is the worst one. Ideally, we want Krenos because that seems super, super powerful. Um, it all went into Glabro, which is, like I said, a bit of a pain, and we haven't really gained anything out of that. But he transformed like two to three times uh, over the course of last episode because it turns out we actually have three moons of the planet. All of which are, so, so two of which are fairly close together, and then we have the third moon, which is a fair distance away. So MBQ82 there and Mufrid have quite a long um, cooldown time between the transformations and the moon fury. So that gives us the most uh, time where we don't have to worry about Donuts going crazy and killing everyone. The only other thing was a minor infestation, which we dealt with in no time at all, because we have a Sith Lord and a Lich. So that was fairly straightforward. Anyway, let's get back on track, and let's start... As we mean to go on here, and that's without combat extended, so that everything is balanced for the base game. And as long as everything's nicely balanced for the base game, which they tend to be, to be honest with you. Rim of Magic, the Vampire mod is nicely balanced for the base game. The Star Wars mod is very nicely balanced for the base game, in my opinion. So because all of those, in theory, they should be balanced with one another as well. And we don't have to worry about the combat extended playing really into it too much. Plus, it's not super overwhelming as well, because Combat Extended adds so many changes. There's a lot of, like, resource juggling and loadout management that it's kind of a bit of a pain, I will admit. Anyway, um, so... What about weapons then? Let's make sure everybody's got correct weapons before we really carry on here. So the good thing is though, this is now relevant. So if we take a look at the DPS of weapons, this is more representative of what it should be. Like I said, this is all balanced for the base game. So if we look at DPS here, we can see that we need to get the chain shotgun, the LMG equipped. Tommy gun, the auto pistol and the Webley revolver are better than all of our hunting rifles as well. So swapping those out would definitely be one of our, uh, one of the first things we should do. Let's put it that way. Because we are expecting a raid any second now. Like I said, that was kind of the raid that bugged things out. Anyway, um, who are our best shooters? I think it's just Igor and Donitz, right? Yeah, Donitz 13 point, uh, what is that? 13.92, and then Igor with 13.59, but a super high passion in it. Um, let's 
equip. What was it? The the LMG, right? Um, weapons tab. There it is. We've got way too many tabs at the bottom. Good God. Yeah, so we need to get the LMG equipped to Igor, I think. Just because she is one of our best shots. And she's going to quickly become our best shot. And with, you know, such a devastating, kind of inaccurate weapon, it's probably going to be for the best. And then how good was the Tommy gun? Oh, it's actually, like, technically our third best weapon. We're not going to use triple rocket launcher for hopefully obvious reasons. And we can't use the laser guns. Those were probably just going to sell off. So the Tommy gun is... Um, yeah, pr pretty a pretty safe bet there. Let's get Jilp equipped with that one. Then I guess just everyone else. Can we give? We can give Bonnet a uh, a gun. That's pretty. That's pretty absurd that the Lich would have that. Doesn't really need it. Similarly, Crop doesn't really need it either. He's got those long range force lightning force joke abilities, and then he's got the ability to obviously use his lightsaber. So that's not such a big deal either. Um, what do we want to do then? I think we'll give Turbo the. I don't know. We'll give Turbo which which out of the zombies is a better shot. They're both garbage, probably because they're zombies. Um, and then we'll give Turbo the web woolly. Oh, no, 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 Jilp. What are you getting? You've got the Tommy gun. Cool. So everyone's kind of nicely equipped here. We've got some fairly okay weapons. And, of course, Crep and Bonnet have their own magical-esque abilities, is what we'll call it for the time being. So, research. We are cracking on with the multi-analyzer. As you would kind of expect, the multi-analyzer is going to be super, super important. Because that's going to allow us to get into every research for every one of our many, many mods we've got going on. Like, And that is uh, it's kind of an absurd amount of shit here, huh? Red thrombos. We don't have combat extended, so that's kind of tempting to go and gun those down. Um, ooh, good god. I don't really know what to do with that one. You know what we need to focus on is just basically building everything up. Like, getting the space set up in a decent way. Rebuilding the embrasure should absolutely be our number one priority. Because, like I said, we are kind of expecting a raid about now. Because that was sort of the point where I was like, yeah, we should reload. So, we are kind of expecting a raid any second. Let's get these embrasures put down. Unfortunately, we've only already got bone embrasures. Ah, How much steel have we got? We could make some steel embrasures. That might not be too terrible. Um... Am I blind? Doth my eyes deceive me? Okay, we've only got 567 steel. It's not a fantastic amount. Um, it's more than enough what we need, though. 120, and obviously steel embrasures are quite tanky things. We're going to lose sort of like half our steel there just to get those embrasures built, which isn't too bad as far as I'm concerned. You know, that's, that's obviously a price worth paying, seeing as these things are directly going to keep us alive. Let's get those built as soon as possible. Little Jilp, thank you very much. He's going to work on the other ones as well. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So the other thing I want to work on here then is very quickly getting the base lit up because it's in complete darkness and also getting it uh, sort of nicely heated, getting a decent temperature going on here because this base is freaking cold right now. What I've done is I've actually built you could kind of describe them as airlocks between this and the main corridor just because it's going to be easier to try and heat up this small area and this small area than it is to heat up the entire cavern. We will eventually, but until we actually need the space, it's just kind of a waste of time and resources and, uh, and you know, heating in general. Okay, we need some stone cutting done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Jilp. Um, Jilp is capable of stone cutting. Should we just have him blitz? So, excuse me, I would like you to... Why can't I queue up things to do on the... I guess what someone else is trying to do it. Uh, Pella's doing it. Cleaning dirt? Who the fuck else is stone cutting? Like, no one's no one's using this stone cutting table, huh? Um, and everyone's capable of doing that. Yeah. Unless it's reserved by someone else. We can build another one. It's not such a big deal. I mean, the, as many stone cutting tables as we can, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So we are getting through a shit ton of limestone bricks. What I want to do is ensure that we've actually got enough just to finish off this small area here so that the whole heating situation is good. Um, Jill, my friend. Is he going to have enough time to do that before he catches fire? Come on, hurry. Nice work. Okay, he's back in. Nothing to worry about. He's going to play on his telescope for a bit before he literally burns to death. Incredible. Right, let's get these built. We need only 15 limestone for that. It shouldn't take too long because, of course, you know, he can stay awake during the daytime, as I've talked about previously. He doesn't necessarily need to sleep, and I need to get this done as soon as possible. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious, serious heating issues. Okay, Job, come and take the corners out here. Um, come and take this one out as well. I think vents count as solid walls, don't they? And then we should... Who's working on that now? Okay, give him, give him time. There we go. And then, Joe, if you want to come back and quickly finish this off, that's good. Okay, so now we should see... There we go. Look at that. A very steep increase in temperature. We're up to a whole 10 degrees. Good work, squad. And with that, our multi-analyzer is finished. God, a lot of people have not really a whole lot to do. Have I set, like, a like a radius on those, maybe? Nope. Uh, oh, that's only one. Oh, it's only allowed by Bonnet. Uh, okay, we'll just set it to any worker, seeing as they've both got the same bill. Anyway, we'll build another one of these as well. We need to go and get ourselves, ideally, some... You know what, let's start building them in the workroom, seeing as, you know, it is a workroom. Let's go and get ourselves a whole bunch of uh, wood, just so that we can build a whole bunch more stone curtain tables. That's going to act as, uh, like I've, I've always said this, our, our sort of catch-all job. Which is, you know, our backup job if we've already got nothing else to do. It's either that or we can have them cycling on the power generator, which is a bit pointless because we've already got way too much electricity for such a small kind of demand for it there. Okay, so these are going to get reinstalled. Fantastic. And then we also need to install our 
just install our tool cabinet somewhere around for the time being. When we start building this place up, we're, because we've got the additional linkables mod, we will need to be a bit more conscious about where we place like the tool cabinets and the uh, sort of like these things, the, the things that provide work bonuses to workstations. We'll have to be a bit more careful about that. I actually built a pretty decent one, I think, in the original Star Wars series, where we had these sort of linked up in a, in a clever way that allowed us to maximize the area. I'll try and do something like that again, but we'll sort of see how we go with that. Um, right, so what else have we got then? Because there is a massive cybernetics mod, which we've got installed as well, which I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, and that's partially what crop is going to be in charge of. Oh, the neural network. There it is. Okay, so we are looking for next then. Um, I guess building a multi-analyzer probably wouldn't go amiss, huh? That, that tends to be quite important in Remod. Alright, let's put down a multi-analyzer, I mean, anywhere. Do we have enough resources for that? Shit, really? Um, gold? Excuse me, where's, where's the gold, though? Oh my god, we actually do. Holy shit, nice. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that so quickly. Um, I'm gonna get you to force work on that. I know it's time for recreation, but this is fairly important. Like, literally one of the most important things. Oh god, don't tell me where. No, he's just going for a little bit more recreation. Go and finish this off first. Then you can go on your telescope for as long as you want, my friend. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's incredible. So, what shall we go for now? We have access to absolutely everything, and now I'm frightened. I'm tempted to go for the, the those linkable workbenches that I was talking about the first time. What do we want? Do we could go for like hospital beds? We could go for auto doors, also not a terrible idea. Geothermal power? Um, why not? Let's start as we mean to go on, because that's also going to unlock fabrication, which in my opinion is probably the second most important research you could get after uh, your multi analyzers there, the ability to generate components, which would let you build all the endgame stuff. So that's quite a nice path to put ourselves on there. Let's build these walls back out as well, for Christ's sake. Right. So we've got a lot of stone cutting benches going in there. Let's get Jilp to... What is Jilp doing right now? Feeding on horse mare. Oh, he's going to go and eat a horse. That's also a really good way of, as I've said previously, getting yourself a little bit of free food there. Thank you, Jill. Much appreciated. Right, let's get this built. We need the space lit up, like I said, because this is extremely dark right now. Uh, and it's going to affect work speed pretty significantly. So let's put down a light there. Let's put a light there. Um... I mean, realistically, anywhere in this room, I haven't really decided on a layout for that one, so I'm not hugely fussed about that too much. Right, let's put one there, and let's just get a couple on either wall. Okay, cool. And then we probably need some in the corridors as well, but the corridors I'm not super fussed with, seeing as they're only just going to be, you know, walking through there uh, just to get to somewhere else. It's not like they're spending um, an extended period of time running around the corridors. We've got enough power to power all these lights, luckily enough, but we need to be somewhat careful, because you've got to bear in mind we are running on, like, three garbage wind turbines. Okay. A starfighter pilot named Bowman calls to you from nearby. She's being chased by scum from Nikolai's snakes. She begs for safety and offers to join the colony. She tells you she's 24 years old, but there's no time to collect more information. Starfighter pilot. Um, that make you good at shooting, I would assume. Um, there's an Ewok, a Togruta, so that's like, um... What's that Jedi Master? Hit on Felucia. Good God. Some, a Shark T. She looks like uh, that's that's the race that Shark T was. Three ruffians. God knows what that is. One Twi'lek soldier and seven other soldiers. My God. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. That's like 12 people we're going to have to fight. Um, 12 versus seven. But we get someone else. So it's going to be 12 versus eight. We have on our side a gigantic werewolf, a gigantic vampire, a Sith Lord, and a necromancer. Um... But the Star Wars weapons are very, very powerful. I mean, like, they have little handheld launchers, they have thermal detonators, they have, you know, E-11 blast rifles, which, despite what stormtroopers do, are quite strong. Um, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go for the challenge. What do you like? You are good at shooting. Thank God. I thought that might be the case. And you're also very good at intellectual as well. Oh, wow. Deadshot is also fantastic. So, longer aiming time, but really much better accuracy. We've got Steadfast. Mental Break Threshold minus 9% is pretty fantastic. And Gourmet as well. Great at cooking. Hey, we've got to cook to take the, uh... To take the heat off of Jilp. Absolutely fantastic. Welcome aboard. You are more than welcome here, my friend. You do need to pass the trials, of course. Everybody needs to pass the trials. Um, who is going to take this person on board, though? Honestly, I don't know. I really, really don't know who we should bring on. Who who will claim Bowman for their faction. Good at shooting. And good at cooking. Good at intellectual. Sounds like it could be a Donitz. Sounds like it could be a Donitz. I mean, if we look at Donitz, obviously great at shooting. Great at that sort of intellectual slash medical area. Either Donuts or Krupp, I'm thinking, is going to claim uh, Sherd Bowman. Cool. Let's get you back to base. Let's give you a weapon and let's uh, let's see if we can't kill ourselves some Ewoks, boys. Uh, what, what have we got in the stockpile here? I don't really want to give you the triple... What's our next good weapon that we haven't got equipped? It's probably the easiest way to take a look. Um, it's the hunting rifle. It's the normal hunting rifle, specifically right there. I love that with that mod, you can just click on a gun and it'll automatically take you over there. That's super useful, huh? The amount of times I spend looking for things. All right. Is the... Uh, okay, the embrasures are built and here comes the raid... All right. Right, where did they spawn in then? I assume exactly... Okay, that's cool. Wow, do they have some powerful shit. These weapons in particular, super high damaging, but these ones are the ready ones, the, the big ones to watch out for. The launcher pistols are 
hideously overpowered. I mean, just disgustingly overpowered. They literally fire, I mean, as it says, their dangerous projectile launcher compacted into a handheld design. Basically like a pistol rocket launcher. Um, kind of like the thing from Men in Black, you know, the one that Will Smith uses. And he's like, oh, I don't want to use this shitty small weapon. And then he uses it and it blows everything up. It's like that. That's, that's what I'm getting at. Okay. Um, we could also use his Moon Fury. Three days next until the next full moon. Perfect. Right. So, um, Bowman, you come and grab your weapon. You're not going to be a Bowman for long. You're going to be a gunman from now on. Go and grab that one. Everybody else, get into position. We've got a long time before they get over here. Man, the number's really counting for nothing at that stage, huh? Right, good luck. Oh, is everyone going to get here? Bonnet, why have you got a shield equipped? Drop that, drop that shield out, you shit. What is that? I don't know what that is. Unload. Never seen that before. Okay, good luck, squad. Please don't shoot that thrombo. Um, right, choke him. Okay, so with Krupp... We're going to focus on disabling. Oh, they're coming in like weird waves. We're going to focus on disabling whoever the hell has the launcher. Who has the launcher? Um, I have no idea. Who has the launcher? Oh, it's him. Oliver. Right, so Krupp's going to keep a close eye on Oliver. How many force points does he have? Can we at least fire off a force lightning before we... Man, he's got three points available. Holy shit. Um, sure. We could go force lightning maxed out. We could go for a little bit more lightsaber offense, or we could go force pool, which obviously increases just his... It doesn't increase the amount of his regeneration or anything like that, but it increases the, his maximum amount. So if we set him to regenerate during his recreation time by building a meditation pad, he will be a lot more effective in battle. Um, I don't really know what to do here. Reflection. What do you think? I, I think that could be awesome, because that way we can stand him on the front line and he could just wipe him out. Now, it won't work against the rocket launcher, but it might work against... You know, just about all the other things. Stand in there, block the way. Have everyone shoot a Krupp. Let's try it. Krupp the tank. Perfect. Uh, Bonnet Bigly, you are going to be Bonnet firing death bolts at basically whoever the hell gets close. Bonnet's probably going to be able to solo them. Um, oh, wow. They actually survived that, huh? Okay, things are kicking off. Here we go. Right, where's the guy with the launch? There he is, Oliver. Choke him down. Choke him down. Make sure he's gone. Good. Stunned him. Nice. How are we doing? Things are fine. Krupp is not really doing too well on the whole lightsaber reflection front, huh? Good work. Wow. Okay, there's one dead. What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? <gasps> a wizard. An entertain- A wizard. Oh my god. Um. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest with you. He can transform. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Get him on the front line. Crop pull back. Get Donuts on the front line. Donuts rip him apart. This is all down to you now, Donuts. Oh my good lord. This is, uh, this is going- Interesting. Like, can we kill that? Kill that mage? Kill the mage? Kill the mage. How are we doing? Thrombo revenge. That's horrible. That's maybe the worst thing I could have ever seen. Um, Thrombo's gonna go kill Donitz. Donitz, Donitz, you need to run. Move, Donitz. Okay, Thrombo's fighting the enemies. That's fine. Donitz getting to cover. Wow, this is, um, this is an absolute mess, huh? Bowman, get through here. Uh, oh my god, someone else has a launcher. Miriam. Right, uh, move up. Death bolt. All down to Bonnet. Come on. Nice. Oh, there we go. That's what we're after. Okay. Man, this is um, horrendous. I think might be the best way to say it. Get up there. Uh, Krupp, come stand here. Let's fire off a force lightning at uh, one of these guys using the big weapons. Okay. It wasn't that effective, was it? Choke. Nice. Okay. They're stunned. That's what we need for now. Eagle reached level 14 in shooting. How are we doing? The robots have taken... Oh, sorry. The robots. The undead have taken some damage. Eagle has had her sh toe shot off, which we don't really care about too much. Krupp, a little bit of a blast burn. Absolutely no worry there. And just a whole bunch of burns on Donitz. Burns we're not concerned about. Right, get in there. Close the gap. Close the gap. Kill them all. Donitz, you need to kill them all, my friend. What is that person doing? Turbo. Who's Turbo? Oh, Turbo's one of our... Yeah, I don't care about our undead zombies. I'll be honest with you. All right. Um, throw out a force lightning. Take out Bernal. Come on. Start fleeing. That's it. Run. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. Nice work, team. Good work. Let him go. Let him go. Okay, so we captured... We also got Miriam out of that. Everyone else, go about your business. Go and get yourself healed up as soon as possible. Um, in fact, Donitz is probably going to need healing up, like, right now. Although, it says 33 conditions need tending. It is only just burns. A lot of that is going to be on his werewolf. So when he transforms back, he's probably going to lose a lot of those burns as well. Um, and Krupp, how are you doing? You just got blaster burns. Let's go finish off that thrombo. Donitz, go and, go and take out that thrombo for me, my friend. Wow, that was, um, I thought it was going to end a lot worse than it actually did. We did a great job there. We got a thrombo out of it. We got a whole, whole bunch of bodies. Thank you. We got a whole bunch of bodies out of that. And we got, man, look at all the Glitter World medicine and all the weapons as well. The Star Wars weapons are quite OP. Man, that was, uh, that was close. Donuts is down. 
31 conditions need to end it, but like I said, it's nothing life-threatening. We haven't really got to worry about that. We do need to patch him up as soon as possible, though, so he doesn't end up being just coated in scars and infections. Um, let's go ahead and turn that into medical. Crop, how are you doing? Um, just a bunch of blaster burns. He's fine. Rescue Donuts. Oh, Donuts is up. We don't need to worry about rescuing Donuts. Cool. Um, never mind, then. Go about your business. Cool. Uh, wow, that's insane. Do we even want to do we, do we grab you? Fire ship? No. Really? We've just bought a raid off and they're sending me a fire ship. Cool, thank you. Well, we've got some weapons this time. How are you doing? Quick sleeper, tough. Actually, not too terrible. Um, okay shooting, okay melee. Oh, not fantastic in that regard. Um, well, what happens if we resurrect the fire mage? Which one was the fire mage? And Oh, sorry, the entertainer. What happens if we send Bonnet in to go and resurrect them? This should be interesting. Will they keep their powers? Will they keep their wizard powers if we bring them back as a zombie? Surely not. Um, let's give it a go. Welcome. Shadow has lost it. Yeah, no, just an undead psychopath now. Kind of makes sense, huh? Um, we can afford to raise another undead, I would imagine. So let's also get... Who's the most useful here? Oh, this guy's insane. Holy shit. Um, we've got... You are kind of garbage. You're okay, garbage. Okay. 11 construction, 11 mining. Eddie's route. Go and get him. Go and, go and rise from your grave. Welcome. Oh, we got two. Well, it doesn't matter too much. Awesome. Holy shit, okay, we need to be careful now, because he's going to start losing so much magic that all of our people are going to die. Excuse me, I don't care about the leveling up. Can we can we get rid of that? Hey, get out of here. Do I have to manually? Okay, let's have some time to... There we go. All right, so Bonnet is going to need a bit more magic regeneration, and he's got so many points available as well. Good God. Um, so we probably want to give him powered creation, or is it cheating death? Yeah, reduce the mana cost of undead. That's a great idea. Let's put all the points into that, and then let's put points into his magic regeneration. That way, hopefully, I'll be able to maintain these undead. Chances are they're just going to crumble very, very soon, but we won't worry about that too much. I don't really like using the undead anyway. They are kind of overpowered, um, and it doesn't really work with our whole gauntlet system. Uh, although, I guess Bonnet could just raise the people for his faction. That could make sense. I'm actually going to get rid of uh, Shadow just because he's kind of crappy, and this is a lot of colonists that we've picked up very quickly here. Um, so, you're going to go and punch a boom alive to death and ideally die. Hey, there we go. Problem solved. All right. Hopefully that doesn't count as a colonist dying. That would suck. All right. Nice. Um, we, we are basically a zombie-fueled... I'm, I'm just going to say paradise, but that's clearly not even remotely the right word here. Uh, now we've got to deal with a whole bunch of friggin' boomalopes. Sure. Who's got a gun that's capable of, uh, you know, doing a bit of big game hunting here? Come over here. Eddie, grab that chain shotgun. Eddie, you might want to start firing, my friend. Uh, oh, God. The chain shotgun has such a short range. Come on. Okay, uh, bonnet, 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 bonnet. Okay, right, let's, let's be a bit careful about this one, huh? Um, right, you keep running. Keep running, little zombie, Eddie. You'll be okay. Just just never stop. Bonnet is going to death bolt some boomalopes. Bonnet. Oh, nice, good work. I didn't want to use that to quickly kill off one of those guys, because I thought if we, like, euthanized him or something, it might give us another malice. This was probably the safest way to do it. All right, there we go. Now all we've got to do is put out an absurd amount of fire. So there's a lot of useful things you can do with a corpse, and for the time being, unfortunately, all we can really do with these corpses is turn them into tasty, tasty bones, um, ready so to, to build some houses out of here. Why is he going back and forth and back and forth? Um, I don't entirely know, I'll be frank with you. Oh, because he had something else to butcher in the other one? Fair enough then. Um, oh my god, are they wearing tainted clothes? I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. Joe, I, I wanted to get all these corpses, like, actually butchered, but he's going back and forth. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, please don't use human meat in the meals, for Christ's sake. We need to make sure that they are definitely, definitely not using human meat. So I've actually set this uh, stove to only use ingredients within this radius. So if we quickly just say here, uh, human, human meat, absolutely not. And then in this one, we'll allow human meat. And we can just feed that to our animals or whatever. We might as well put them to good use. There's today's helping of war crimes. That's one of the reasons I cancelled yesterday's video as well. Or the video I did earlier, I should say. The lack of war crimes. Honestly, there's just genuinely not even a single... We were just peacefully building and training with people. That's not on brand, is it? So it's time to see if Bowman is allowed to join permanent. She's currently sleeping in the Room of Contemplation, name pending, which is where you sleep um, before you... Oh, God, there's full moon approaching. Before you're allowed to join the colony, you have to fight the champions of each faction. Now, unfortunately, the factions don't really have any champions. I mean, besides Bonnet's faction, which is um, pretty much filled with a whole bunch of undead right now, because, you know, it's Bonnet. Jump can make people into his faction just by ghouling them, similar to how Bonnet will, but for everyone else, they have to fight or join, you know, Eagle's cult, cult or whatever. They have to prove themselves. Bowman, drop your gun, or, you know, just melee attack or whatever. Krupp and Donnet both 
are fine with Bowman joining their faction, but she will have to fight one of them in hand-to-hand -hand combat to see which one she is allowed to join in front of the Great Obelisk. So, in a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight, Bowman is actually fairly well-skilled and might provide a decent challenge. Let's... How are we going to determine this? Should we just do a coin flip? Let's just do a coin flip. So, so Jill, Jill and Crop are going to flip a coin. Um, and we're going to see whichever one. I'm, don't, just don't mind me. I'm definitely not going on coin. I'm just going to Google coin flip. Okay, you ready? Jill is heads. Crop is tails. It is heads. I wish I wish that would have shown up on the screen, but it's okay. Thank you, Google coin flip. It's heads. Uh, who, who did I say it was heads? I don't remember. We're going to flip again because I honestly don't remember. Uh, so Donuts is heads. Crop is tails. Flip. Donuts heads. Crop is tails. It's heads. Okay, it's heads for the second time in a row. So Donuts gets the role. Crop, you are the referee in this situation. Donuts is not allowed to go werewolf form. As, as, as fun as that would be, they have to fight hand-to-hand -hand the traditional way. If she survives, or... How do we want to do this? If she survives, or how about... Yeah, just if she wins. If she wins, she's allowed to join. If not... She's she's gonna get ground up into into dust. She's gonna she's gonna get she's gonna get turned into meat. Let's let's kill. Let's fight. Good luck. All right, the showdown begins. It's it's looking pretty much in Donuts' favor early on. Oh, Bowman's getting some good hits though. A critical there. Eleven points of damage. Good luck, Bowman. Oh, nine points. I don't think Donuts gonna get a recruit with this one. I hate to say it. We need to give them a bit more of an advantage, don't we? This is not the best way I think to get recruits. Yep. Oh man, Donuts wins. Not even close. Although, she, to be fair, to her credit, she did put up a fairly decent fight there. Donitz, uh, you know, cracked his torso, cracked his ribcage, cracked his sternum, and a bruise in the right leg. But unfortunately, Bowman, you two have failed. And now it is time to meet your maker. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bowman. Thank you for thank you for joining us. We will see you. Send someone worthy to the colony or don't send anyone at all, game. Are you listening, Randy Random? We're not playing on Randy Random. Randy, if you're listening... Send someone worthy. Otherwise, otherwise, we're basically Bonnet's going to get all of them. Oh, whoa. What's this? It's uh, me being caught up by Donnets transforming into a freaking werewolf again. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. It, it's all right. We've managed to get everybody. No one's actually in the base right now. So this is just going to cost us a couple of doors that we're going to have to rebuild. Because everybody is running into their freaking lives. Fortunately, as long as we can get far enough away by the time Donnet actually catches up. When does, he, when does his fury stop? It like starts at 9 p.m. Oh, God. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Come on. Stop. Piss off. Bonnet. Oh, Lord. Um, I wasn't actually expecting him to get that close that quickly. My God, did he cover a lot of ground. Uh, choke, choke him. Choke him, get closer. Choke him out. Right, round two. Here we go. Boom. Oh, he's killed one of our people. There we go. All right. We almost managed to avoid that one without any losses. Not that it's a big deal, because we can just obviously raise him back up there. Hey, perfect. Another Moon Fury for Donuts. Still not the form that we want. Still not that ridiculously overpowered Krinos form. We've got Glab Glabro level 4, Hispo level 3, Krinos, Krinos level 2. Wish there was a way to focus those. Like, like say, hey, only transform into that one if you don't mind. Oh, God, the fire ship. Oh, shit. Forgot about that one. Um, okay, well, let's put some of these Star Wars guns to good use then. Let's see what DPS we've got going on here. Um, chain shotgun. Still our strongest weapon, really. Okay. Um, so let's get... Who's up? So let's arrange it in terms of shooting ability. Um, that's going to make it a little easier to uh, get everything equipped. Now, the actual Star Wars energy weapons do a lot less damage than your regular weapons. However, I'm going to get these ones fully equipped because they do burn damage. And burn damage is super, super important when we want to take prisoners and obviously recruit them. So we're going to stick to almost entirely a Star Wars-y based loadout here. An energy weapon based loadout. Um, Bonnet... This, this is genuinely the order of how good people are at shooting. Um, obviously, the undead are just trash. They are literally just cannon fodder. We will still get them equipped, though, uh, so that they are not completely useless. Uh, have we got any other Star wars -y weapons? We've got uh, Scout Blaster. Can we grab this one as well, then? So that way, we can at least try and take some prisoners. We've got a bunch of Zabrak here to trade with us. All right, let's see what we've got. Uh, Igor, go and take a look. They could be Iridonian. Look, I'm not going to judge. The, it's an exotic goods trade, more to the point. So we can hopefully unload some of this garbage stuff. So we've got, like, Comet Style Blade Dancer. Teaches a physically adept pawn how to train as Blade Dancer. So with the Rim of Magic mod, not only are there wizards, but they're also combat styles as well. So you get things like Death Knight or, in this case, Blade Dancers. Uh, as long as you're physically adept, you can learn those. But they are kind of useless, so I'm going to get rid of those. Um, you've got Technical Dancer spells. We've got Enchanter spells. Uh, let's sell... What have we got that we really don't want? Oh my god, we could sell them all of our crappy arcade cabinets. Hey, there we go. Man, they were worth a fortune. Holy shit, we've, we've rinsed that trade caravan. Good god. Alright, so let's sell all of our copies of Bugetris and the Elder Scones. 
Not really interested in you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What have they got that we have not yet installed? Um, a homebrew arcade cabinet. We'll take a couple of those. We'll take Mintcraft. Holy shit. Um, we can get rid of Psychonauts because I believe we have a copy of that. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. we need to keep one of each because um, we haven't actually installed any yet, have we? Get rid of Begetris. We need, so we've got Begetris, we've got the Outer Scons, we've got Psychonauts of Rimsworld. Um, you can absolutely sell the rest. And then we've got Spell Tunky and the Zims. Are they going to be able to afford this? This is a lot of money. Good God. Um, I don't know that we can actually, have they got anything we can buy? Uh, what, what you guys got? What you guys got that I can take off your hands? Components, give me those. Advanced components, give me those. Global Medicine, give me those. Plasteel, we'll take the lot. Um, a refined Magicite, absolutely we'll take everything. Um, MTRK, they've got like Half-Life cartridge, sure, why the hell not? Ooh, hang on, look at this. Bionic Animal Jaw, Auxiliary AI chip, sure, what's a Berserker chip? A brain implant that gives the user a time-slowing adrenaline rush while dramatically improving the user's close combat abilities. It suppresses any pain receptors. Oh, that's cool. Um, that could be useful. We've got an Orion Cornea. What is it? Um, excuse me, what, what is that? It gives social impact and trade price. Okay, absolutely. Give me that. Um, we'll take one of those as well. Flying troops are what plants have, right? Uh, that's not how that works. Excuse me. Flying troops carry metabolic products. I think that's from... That, though that's an implant for those creepy uh, sort of elder creatures. The, the, the outer creatures. Galatross horns. They've got some fancy sculptures that we can't... They're not going to be able to afford this. Um, okay, then I guess we'll keep some copies of Begetrus for ourselves. For the love of God. Um, we'll just sell them whatever we can. There we go. And we've still taken a load of crap that we don't really want, but fine. There we go. What a, what a decent trade. The final thing that I'm really going to get done today, I think, is just finishing off... Oh, shit. Should we deal with that? Should we deal with that fire ship? Oh, good. Yorkshire Terriers have joined. Fantastic. We've also got a bunch of plastic. Hey, that's actually useful. Wow. Oh, poor llama. Rest in peace. Should we deal with this fire ship first? Because I think the fire can spread beyond walls. Well, at least from what we found out last time it could. Um, sure. Let's see what we're up against. Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to deal with this. Move in. We'll take these out, and then we are going to finish off the... Oh, no. My Yorkshire Terrier died immediately. What happened? Oh, it was killed by a whole bunch of very evil otters. What the hell? That's... Oh, my God. That's a lot of Yorkshire Terriers. Ah, oh, my good friends. Willoughby, Rodian, Elias, and Muzzletov. Good. Um, okay. So. Uh, Donitz, where's your gun, my friend? Donitz, where's your... Excuse me, Donitz. We, we need a rifle here, my pal. Um, come and grab... Let's grab the T21. That seems pretty powerful. Is using energy weapons against back in loads a good idea? Uh, arguably, probably not. But we'll see how they work. So they do obviously have a huge amount of damage anyway. Can Yorkshire Terriers be trained to haul? I mean, I know most of the dogs can, but these are these are kind of like little tiny chitty dogs. Yeah, they, they are garbage. Okay, goodbye. Nice knowing you. Thank you. A nice bone delivery. Just what we needed. All right, I guess we'll try and use the trees to our advantage in this situation. Oh, we're still a little bit too far away. Okay, can we get a little bit closer? Can you hit it? Still no. What about here? Kind of. Let's put you here then. All right, Jilp has, I assume, a much longer range. Still not that fantastic, is it? Jesus, okay. Um, we've just got to kind of avoid the fire. I don't know if these dead trees provide any cover whatsoever, but we'll uh, have to roll with that. Bonnet, uh, sorry, Krupp has a fairly decent range to him. Uh, to be honest as well, with, with, with Krupp, we could really put him on the front line and just have him soak up a lot of the damage. That thing has a ridiculous range. For a pistol, that's absurd. Alright, let's put you guys over here. In fact, we've got a lot of rocks we could we could use to our advantage too. Um, let's do something like that. Bring Bonnet around here, and let's bring Krupp up to the top and hopefully draw some of their fire in that direction. Um, you go join them behind the rock formation. The only thing I'm concerned about is if we get a centipede. That could be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, Alright, you moving this way. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with this layout. This is okay. Let's see what we've got. Wake him up. It, it's surely only going to be a couple of psycho at this level of the game, right? Oh, God. It's a centipede with an inferno cannon. Good. Fantastic. Incredible. That was that was close. I mean, that was literally as close as it could have gotten. Okay, Eagle. Um, change plan. We're going to put you right there. Eddie, you are going to stay where you are. I sort of moved everyone in a panic, but we should be fine. Bonnet, you're going to stand there. Don't know if a death bolt works against a centipede. I very much doubt it does. Right. Um... Can't see him. Oh, shit. He's going to have to move down a little bit. All right. Stop that centipede. Oh, my God. It doesn't even stun him. You're kidding me. How oh, does Force Lightning not stun a goddamn centipede? But choking it out does. Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? Silly me. Um, right. Let's see if the Death Bolt works then in that case. I, I'm really hoping it does because, my God. Okay. Uh, what about that thing? What about this? What about this? You guys fire on You guys fire on the fire on the side. Take that, take that boy out. The burn weapons are working quite well, luckily enough. Now, that one wasn't close. Uh, that one was not close. That was definitely probably the worst place that ever could have landed. Please take out the Scyther. 
Hey, do you want to do you want to kill the scyther? There we go. Cool. All right. Now we're just dealing with the centipede. I'm gonna move crop in closer. Crop just get in there and kill the damn thing. Joe, feral claws. Get in there and kill the damn thing. Don, it's going on a food binge. Now's the time. Now's exactly the right time to do that. Thank you. Uh, these two should take it out. No problem. Right. Come on. Use your lightsaber. There we go. Kill it dead. All right. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. He's got vampire jump with his feral claws. Crop with his lightsaber. Problem solved. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. I wasn't really expecting to deal with a Ferno Cannon Centipede this early on. Everyone's on fire. Eddie, for fuck's sake. Eddie, just go home. Why did I even bring you along? You didn't do a goddamn thing, Eddie. All you did during that fight was catch fire. Go home. Damn useless. And plus they're zombies as well, so they probably wouldn't have hit anything even if they were a little bit closer. Alright, take out the fire ship and we are done. Thank God for that. In Discord, which is linked below for those of you who haven't joined that yet, I'll have a discussion with everybody about how we best want to get people to join the uh, the various factions, because as it stands right now, the longer we play, the stronger our people are going to get, and the stronger our people get, the less likely people who are turning up are able to defeat them. So that's clearly not going to work well in our favor, because we're not going to get any goddamn recruits. So... I will leave it up to you guys how we should do that. But like I said, we'll talk about it in Discord. If you haven't joined that, link's in description. In the meantime, let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Blurry Bunny, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Demon Daenerys, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Musk Ratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Palvis Presley, Skaz, Sirthal the Swede, Stanis the Manus, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. And then hopefully we can start putting some freaking names into this game, huh? Because it stands right now, we're never going to get any Patreon names or anybody's names, in fact, put in because everybody's getting completely wiped out by our kind of overpowered colonists. A shout out as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Arachne44, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunconi27, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK, Ron, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, Ice, Al Ice Wa Allow, Come, I see the great Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jose, Euron DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Lusme, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew Marcus, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pantamu, Pantherpearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Shari, Smirt 1, Talar, The Insane Pickle, The Forsaken One, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you all tomorrow.